Greetings everyone and welcome back to another Lost Ark video. Today I'm going to show you how you obtain the power pass in Lost Ark, which is basically the level 50 boost, and how you use it. So the first thing you have to do is you need to take a boat to North Vern. So no matter where you are, when you're level 50, once you're level 50, uh, you probably could do it before, but when you're level 50, I would just say, then take a boat over here to the, the port Cronus here, port, you can see here, the port Krona. Then you will be getting a main quest, which is, you know, these uh, light blue quests here. You will be getting a new main quest you're going to do, and you just have to follow it. And after like 20 minutes, you will be getting to Vern Castle, where you will continue your quest, and you will be talking with the queen or princess or whatever she is, called Elin. Basically, follow that quest. Just follow that quest for like 30 minutes, something like that, and then you will end up in this place here called Bla Balanka Mountains, where you will be doing this dungeon here. When you finish the dungeon, you're basically done. Then you go back here, you, she will thank you, and boom, you get two boosts. I think I got it like in a mail or something. Or I, I can't remember if I got it in a mail or if I got it by her, but something like that. But she will then have a quest for you called Elin's Gift, and boom, you now have Power Pass. Then you get the power pass in your inventory, you right click on it, and what you have to do then is go back to your character select. And that's like the first step you have to do, like get it, right click on it in the inventory after you've done the main quest. It's like 30 minutes, something like that. And then when you get to your character select, which here, you will then see when you power or hold all your mouse, like characters here, you can see it actually tells there's a power pass available so in my case i really want to level up a mage i want to have like a mage as my second one so i have this one here called valin with i i n n because everything else was pretty much taken so i'm going to take this character here click power pass and i can use it here keep in mind you only get one till start but then you when you use the first one you're going to get one more in uh, in mail it also takes here appropriate um, attrition pass grant you appropriate level gear for the content and quest on the selected continent after clearing a run uh, a, a free power pass is given only tw two times per roster so basically it tells me you're gonna get one more so i can level up a mage and whatever i want i'm probably gonna do berserker like a mage and berserker uh, because then i have my paladin as my main so i'm gonna click power pass click on here use do you want to use it Yes, I want. There you go. So what happens now is basically it takes you back to Trixion, where you have to like, um, well, you can choose between. You can choose between to, you know, relive the whole story. This is just like the class video. But you can choose to relive the whole story, uh, like all the main campaigns that happened in the game, you know, like the big castle war, all those things. You can relive it again if you want. Uh, and I'm not sure if the Europe version is actually going to give you anything for doing it. On the Russian version, I just basically said no. Why should I do all the scenarios again? I don't need that. But we will be seeing here what we, our options are. We're going to take here. There's, it's basically after my, my power pass. I'm going to use it on Sorceress. Yes, please. I choose this Destiny. And then we're going to talk with her. Leave. Skip. Oh, yeah, there we go. Here we go. So here you can see, this is the thing, play or skip. So here you can see, we have a, we're just going to use the background sound a bit more. So here we can see, like, um, here you have the prologue, which you're doing right now, which it tells me, so if I do it, um, we're basically getting this chest here, so skip. So this, this is going to give us like a, 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 like a cosmetic thing if you do it, but I don't want to do that, so I'm going to skip that. Then it now asks me, do you want to do this? Where it's basically like taking you through some major it's basically going through some major events or oh, you can you couldn't see that from my webcam so you can see down here I, I was getting this chest down here with those cosmetic things but i don't want that because i have other cosmetic things then it's basically asking me do you want to do the major events again on your character and then you're gonna get uh wait you can't well, it looks like i'm gonna get some kind of a dog and i'm gonna get like crystals or, like, or a battle chest but again keep in mind you have to do all the major events basically she wants you to do like all um, the scenarios all those things you re if you want to relive them and i'm like i don't really want that um i know i'm gonna get a battle chest and i'm gonna get oh here we can pet, pick between a pet called arong darong barong and a barong oh my god they are actually pretty cute 
complete adventure once per roster. Okay, I can do this again on my second character, the second one I'm boosting off the video. So I'm going to do that. So we're going to skip it this time because that's a pretty cool pet. Then we can also here, we can get some body headbands, learn how to become a visitor of an adventure. Again, it's going to take you from some training area and boom like that. I don't care. I just want to get my character. Again, price is very combat events and skill controls, and it's going to give you a hairpin. I don't care. So again, if you're going to do this for the first time or second time, and you really like want to get these things, you should probably continue it and it will force you to do some content. But in my case, I'm just like, in my case, I just want to like get to the end game and start grinding. Because the thing about this game is having alt characters is when you have additional characters doing Chaos Dungeon Guardian Raids, you're basically getting currencies you can send to your main character. So your alt characters is helping getting, uh, you know, even more stuff to your main character. I just got a lot of achievements, like a lot of achievements on Steam for doing this. Okay, so here we go. We have now boosted a character and we have got this battle chest here with gear. Basically, it's full 302 gear, so it's the same you get from uh, the Chaos Dungeons. So we're just going to say open. So put on, 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 put on. Oh, I have to, um, I have to facet it. That's fine. And then one over token. Oh, we got a pet. We got a mount. That's pretty cool. What's that? Oh, okay. We got also get the lady box, which we're going to use. We also get a normal horse. Oh no, I did. I took. I took the one I already had. Okay, so if we go into pets, yeah, we have my normal pets. Summon, and I should also have mounts. Oh, I actually didn't know I could use this one on all my characters. Cool, and a wolf. And this is how I look. This is how they think in-game gear should look like a nitrous <laughs> okay and then of course it's going to give you all the like all the missions and how you can like start beginning to pro progress and i can see the main quest itself find the arc is shared like on all my characters which is fine cool so i mean this, that's that's pretty much it that's that's actually everything and we even have the we even have the awakening skill, which you get a level fifty, and it looks like we also have even the level fifty spell, which is cool. Okay, I like that. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You get the boot. I showed you how to get you know the, the basically the power pass by going to Saints of Varian, follow the main quest, do the dungeon, then the queen princess whatever she is over here, Elena. It's going to give you a quest called Alien's Gift. You complete it, you get the power pass, you go out, and boom, you now have a level 50 additional character, which can start doing Guardian Race, Dungeons, all that shit, and begin to help your main character, which is really useful. So, thanks for watching. It was a pleasure making this video, and now you know exactly the progress on how to get it, how to do it, and what happens after. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Bye.